Hey kids, comics. So we're here at Bronze Age Babe here, yakking about her comic book collection, and today talking about the Lois Lane Maxi series, Enemy of the People, uh, number seven, which came out um, yesterday. Uh, and um, I raced down to my comic book store to pick it up because, as you can tell, I love me some Lois Lane, and since she's got this maxi series, I'm going to collect them all, uh, including the normal cover and all the variants. So there's the variant cover. Um, this isn't uh, one of the more exciting covers, I guess. It, it seems kind of tropey to me, but on the other hand, what I do like about it is that it uh, refers to something that I've always said about Lois Lane. Um, is that her superpower is being a journalist. And so to convey that in that is actually, you know, I, you know, even as I talk about it, I'm liking it more and more. Um, and this cover art, by the way, I was, um, I really found myself kind of poring over it because uh, golly, are there clues in there? And this will just show, show to go you how slow on the uptick uh, Silverhead Bronze Age be, uh, Babe can sometimes be because I, it, ne it didn't occur to me until uh, into my heavy into my meditations, I was like, wait a minute, that blood spatter is in Superman's ass. I was like, oh, uh, I'll catch up, I promise. Um, there's one thing I want to talk about with this issue, and I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to do some spoilers on the... Um, the actual issue itself. Um, I, I, I've talked in the past that I really like this storyline so far um, and I love the art in it. Um, it's uh, just fantastic and I really like that the story is primarily focused on Lois Lane, her journalistic abilities, and Renee Montoya and her investigative abilities as the question. So by having these two formidable women team up to uh, to work this mystery is it's great I'm I'm really loving it and it kind of um, reminds me a wee bit of back in the Lois Lane days uh, in the Bronze Age when Lois shared her book with uh, Rose and Thorn so you have two powerful female characters they they sometimes they interacted in the stories but often does not not but in any event so I'm really liking Lois and the question working together. However, in this episode, um, they are the they are returning to Lois's uh, hotel room to find that it has been cleaned uh, by a woman who they do not recognize. Um, my uh, my beef with it is that they both of these women become stupid. Um, you can, <laughs> I mean. Uh, duh, she's bad news. Duh, something is going on in that room. Um, and the fact that they would have Renee Montoya just be gobsmacked by the beauty of this woman and trying to ask her out on a date, it's like, you know, really, really? And, um, and then ultimately you find out that, uh, indeed, she isn't even... Uh, she's worse than you think. She is, not only does she uh, plant video and audio bugs in the room, but also explosive. She, she's her. She's, she's that. <laughs> and then blows up the room. Um, for this Lois Lane fan, it's like, oh lord. You know, um, Lois Lane uh, just isn't I just never think of her as being that clueless. Um, and it's funny because I was rereading this book um, just the other day. And this is from, this is one of my favorite Superman books. It's from 1973. Um, and I, uh, believe me, I poured over this as a kid and I reread it the other day and I just, it warmed my heart because not only do you have Star Sapphire who's <laughs> one of my favorite uh, villains, so to speak. But in this story, it's Lois Lane that saves Superman's day here, not the other way around. Um, Star Sapphire has, it's kind of great, one of my all-time favorite Cal panel. She has put the Star Sapphire necklace around his neck, rendering him 
completely uh, mute uh, uh, and powerless, and, you know, that's why she, he's kissing her boot. Lois Lane figures out a way to uh, remove that necklace by wearing a, a fake costume and ordering Superman to fly upside down. The necklace falls off, the spell is broken, the, sky, the clouds part, the sky turns blue. So, thank you very much. Lois Lane uh, is no dummy. And uh, so that's why for this Silver and Bronze Age Lois man, this particular issue was a little head-scratching. Um, but at the same time, I am looking forward to next month's issue to see uh, what happens next. And I guess that's all you can ask for a comic book. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time.